Hello everyone and welcome to our YouTube channel Quick Solvers. Here I want to solve this for x where we have square root of x plus 2 equals minus x. I think this is a good question for you if preparing for SAT or ACT and the difficulty level of this question is medium to hard. So let's see how can we solve this. Uh, well, first of all, we know that this expression here, this square root of x plus 2, this should be positive. I mean, the square root is always positive, okay? And from this, uh, then we can conclude that x should be larger than or equal to minus 2. And since this part, the left side, since this part should be positive, that means this part also should be positive. That means minus x should also be positive. And from this, we can conclude that x should be smaller than or equal to 0. All right. And from this and this, we can conclude that x falls in the range of minus 2 to 0. And this is very important to understand what is the domain for x given this function. So bear that in mind. We would need it uh, because there is a chance that x has multiple answers. And then we need to choose which one is the correct answer. Okay. So I will I will uh, remove this. And I will write it here. We know that x belongs to this range, this domain actually. Okay. All right, now to find this, to find x, uh, we can raise each side to the power of 2 to get rid of the square root. Then this gives me x plus 2 equals x squared. All right, and then I take everything to the right side. So we can say 0 equals x squared minus x minus 2. Or I can write this as x squared minus x minus 2 is 0. All right. And, well, now there are two ways we can find what is x. First, or the simplest way, I can write this as x, uh, x plus 1 times x minus 2 equals 0. Okay, that's one way. Then from this, we can conclude that x is either minus 1 or x is either 2, all right? Or maybe both from this. Because for this to be equal to 0, if x is 2, then this multiplication is 0. And if x is minus 1, then again, this is 0. So that means x has two answer here. That's one way to find x. Another way is to use the quadratic formula, which says generally when you have something like ax squared plus b times x plus c equals 0, then you can use this formula to find x. And that says x equals uh, minus b plus plus minus b squared minus 4 times a times c divided by 2 times a. Okay. And if you look at this, here, a is here, a is 1, b is minus 1, and c is, uh, c is uh, minus 2. So if I replace that here, then we get minus b, which is minus minus 1, which is 1, plus minus b squared, which is 1, minus 4 times a times c, that is 8, divided by 2 times a, which is 2. Then we get 1 plus minus a square root of 9, which is 3, divided by 2. And this again gives us two answer for x, 2 and minus 1. Okay, so from both way, I mean, either this, which is the simplest, or this, which works when this function is more complex, you can find what is x okay and well here we already uh, knew that x should be in the range of minus 2 to 0 and that means this answer is not the answer 
and the only answer is the when x is minus 1. So b is the answer here.